All right, guys, welcome back. WRX Garage, another video. So today we have a probably our most requested video yet, I think. And that is a long-term review of the Faction Fab coilover system, the F-Spec, and the Fortune Auto system that Kevin has. So we're gonna, I've had this for like six months, I think over six months now. So uh, I have the F-Spec on here. I think it's 8K springs all around. It's a uh, 8K front, front, 6K rear. 6K rear, okay. Yeah. Um, it does have the adjustability for the dampening, um, like the preload stuff uh, out there already. It does not have camber, uh, so you can't mess with the camber, but we have a full review of the system. So what are my thoughts on it? So far, absolutely love it. For the money, this is by far the best budget coilover now. I think uh, ride stiffness, when I wanna go into like, in a sense, put it in like it's sportiest mode, I've gone on plenty of back road drives. I've gone on car cruises where we go through like country towns, no yellow line. It's just this little road, windy. It performed fantastic. No complaints whatsoever, especially with the tire setup now. It's, it's perfect. So between that, um, I've been on long drives. I've been on, I think the longest I drove was three and a half hours with this setup on, like, a, you know, one way. So I put it all the way into its like softest, comforty setting and it rode over the bumps on the highway, no problems at all. It was absolutely flawless. Um, also, two weeks ago on the highway, I actually blew out this tire at 85 miles an hour. It had just a slight little puncture in it that I got while I was driving on the highway. And it was so hot, it was like, I think it was 102 that day. It got so hot that it actually caved in the backside. And I'll send Kevin some pictures. We can throw up some pictures here of what the sidewall looked like, the whole inside sidewall tear you know like someone took a knife and went all the way around but that blew out but the whole car swerved just a little bit and it stiffened right back up and when on, i went to on a softer suspension of oh like yeah that, a car could roll over just because the weight transfer is insane with the stiffer suspension i mean that probably saved the car from yeah when i went to town yeah. fair he looked at it and he said how fast are you going and he's like don't bullshit me how fast are you going i was like well i was going like 80 85 on the highway just cruising like everyone else was. And he came out and he was like, if you did not have that suspension and if you didn't have all wheel drive, he's like, that car would have flipped over. He says, if you were in a Jeep and that happened, he goes, your car was rolling. And it didn't damage the wheel at all. Thank, thank God it did not damage the wheel at all. Otherwise my girlfriend would have completely killed me. <laughs> um, so yeah. It, so far, fantastic. I really have no complaints. I think if, if you're not gonna track your car, if you don't have any type of dream to track your car, there's no point in buying anything better than this to me. You're just spending money for features that you're never gonna use. Yeah. If you really wanted to camber, then you could get the FR spec. And even that is still, it's $100 more than this and it's still $500 cheaper than the, uh, the Fortune Auto. So if you're looking for your daily driver, street setup, cruising around town, few car cruises, wanna go down a little, yeah. side road and have some fun that is by far the best system i've had no issues i haven't gone through a winter with it so let's see how it does in the winter it's the only other question but let's uh take a fantastic. quick look underneath just to show you guys after six months what, yeah, what shape these like. are in if i i'm gonna try to get in there i think if you go uh, over there yeah carol what's that good looks good honestly they are, they're not weatherized. They're not oxidized at all. They look really good. Let's take a quick look at the front. I think you have a little bit more that we can see. So. So they're a little dirty, well, we also but <laughs> the dust boot is in shape and it's in the right place. I don't see a single mark of oxidation anywhere, That's which good. is really cool. Um, and one thing that Kyle is going to be doing, like I did on my car, uh, oh, exposure settings. Um, this winter, before the winter, Kyle is going to be sealing those threads with the Shield T9 that I use, that like wax sealant kind of thing, um, that kept all, kept all my threads and components nice and clean uh, throughout the winter. So he'll be doing the same thing, but you know, for, six months of driving through i mean we put them on early when there was still some salt on the road and everything and to be honest i think i put ten thousand miles on these how many ten thousand wow because i think i put it on when i had 34 35 
and I have 50 now, so yeah. I think it was, yeah, so I have almost 50 now, so I think it's probably between eight and 10,000 because I do drive a lot. Cool. I drive to New York like at least once a week and for a while there I was driving to work every day. So, um, so with the Faction Fabs real quick, um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of one of their videos where they actually walk through the internal engineering they have in these. And it's actually a very, very sophisticated modern setup for such a budget coilover that you're not really gonna see with many of the other, you know, like the really cheap race lands or the chains or things like that. Um, let's show you real quick the, so this is the top hat where we do have our adjustability. That leaf out of there. Get that leaf out of there. So, 32 way adjustability uh, for dampening. Um, yeah, no complaints. No noises, no rattles. No noises, no rattles. It's never bottomed out. Um, and to be honest, I have driven on some pretty wild roads. There's even a road that they were doing construction on the highway. So, you're going 65, you slow down and you go down into yep. the bump and then, blah, 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 and then back up. No issues at all. I mean, I, I definitely think that they saved my life, you know what I mean? When that tire blew out. So yeah, I could not be happier. I would recommend them to anyone that is not tracking the car. And even if I was gonna track this car, I'd still just buy the FR spec and give those a shot. Cool. Let's take a quick uh, look at my car. Um, I am running the Fort that fortune <laughs> the fortune auto 500 series coilovers they are the gen 7 so they come with uh camber adjustability um, they come with a 24-way dampening adjustment in the fronts and rears um, they come with a monotube uh damper uh, so it's not a divorce setup like a lot of other cars it's the same with kyle's um and then they do come with the uh radial bearing in the top so kyle's has a radial bearing too which is really cool so what are the main difference, differences between uh, the Faction Fab offering and what Fortune Auto has to offer is that um, I do have 8K fronts and rears. Um, I think the um, high speed dampening is a bit stiffer and a bit more responsive. Um, there is what they call, um, oh wait a second. Very good. Hey, almost got stuck. How'd you do? I'm pretty good, you gotta have one more drive. Go to Jeep's four. Hey. Nice and muddy. Do you think we can go? We'll go down there next. Dude, I, almost, I literally almost got stuck. <laughs> AK. Yeah, so AK front and rear springs. Um, so it is a bit stiffer. I think it does hold uh, the car a bit stronger in the corners. Um, and I think like the stiffest setting on the adjustability for the, um, you know, the actual adjustment in the top for the dampening or damping um, is stiffer as well. Yeah, definitely. To I would definitely agree. The FR spec or the F spec. So. We did do that once. I think we put yours as stiffest in mine and we just went down my road. Yeah. And yours definitely was, you know, a little bit stiffer, but it should be. So it's, yeah. it is more track setup than it is. Uh, the other difference is that uh, the Fortunatos has a bit more advanced setup for their shims they have in the shim stack inside the, the, the damper, um, the damper tube. And that is uh, they have digressive valving and I'm not an expert on fluid dynamics or anything like that, but fluid, that essentially means that you have um, more capacity for uh, comfort in different speeds. So essentially, if you hit a bump and you're going 100, it's going to act a little bit softer um, and let that, that, uh, that uh, fluid through when it's such a harsh, harsh impact, uh, just to make it a little more comfy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm overall, I'm, I've, I've gone through an entire year now. Um, I will say they are a lot more comfortable when the weather is warm. Um, during the winter, they are a little bit stiffer. Uh, that also, you know, could be attributed to um, the winter tires I have on. I do run winter tires, the Blizzax, um, which are a stiffer compound and they're a harsher tire. Um, but the fluid in the winter inside the dampers is a bit colder, so it is a little more aggressive of a fluid as well. Um, so I, I'd be really interested in comparing the FR spec from Faction Fab to the Fortunatos and yeah, seeing the difference cool. there. When um, John gets his car, we're gonna make him get the FR spec. Yeah, nice. So or, I do have the or, coilover adjustment. Or better yet, I'd sell John mine and I buy his it. See, think with your head, kids. So, they are a bit dirty. 
green. And they are a little bit oxidized. I can just scrub that off. That's just salt and stuff from on the exterior. But um, one thing that I have noticed that I have had a slight issue with is I am getting a slight squeak when I'm going at low speeds, um, but it's so, so almost imperceptible. It's just that I know my car really well and I know all the noises attributed to it. So, um, yeah, so here's my camber plate. Um, if you wanted to go more, you can actually adjust and take these bolts out and slide them a couple of bolts over on that black plate underneath. So um, crazy adjustability on camber, which is really nice. Um, I have my four-way dampening adjustment here, and then I also have the extenders in my trunk. I'll link that video here um, so I can change those. Um, but yeah, overall, compared to, compared to stock, um, Oh yeah, compared to stock, just get coilovers. Just get coilovers. <laughs> the Subaru suspension for their all their normal cars are, you know, for their cross tracks and Imprezas, they're decent, comfy suspensions. For their WRX, they went sportier. And when I say sporty, you get kind of the worst of both worlds, right? So they're yeah. they're not as comfy as the rest of their line, but they're not as good performing enough yeah, to not really as stiff as you would really want them to be. So yeah. Yeah, and with with almost any coilover setup or a good quality coilover setup, you're gonna get the best of those both worlds. You're gonna get pretty much increased perf uh, performance, but if you get like a daily driver set, like the Fortunatos, which have good balance between performance and comfort, or the Faction Fab set, if you want, which, yeah, more um, budget. If you want more budget, budget oriented, uh, more daily driver oriented, yeah. um, they're both gonna have you know performance and good comfort. And personally, for me, for my Fortunatos they are more comfy than the factory. Um, and that might just be my perception, but I honestly, I think they feel yeah. in the seat feel, they feel more comfortable uh, than stock because I'm just not getting thrown around. Um, One thing I want to try is the SDI stock uh, suspension. I really want to test drive a new SDI and see how that suspension feel is because obviously they have a more aggressive setup on there and see how close that is to these coilovers or if these coilovers still feel better. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Pretty good. All right, guys. Well, thank you. We did this video because so many of you commented on all of our videos, not even just our coilover videos. I think even on I think on my sound system video, someone said, "How are the how are the coilovers? I want to know how how they are." Long term review, long term yep. review. So, um, so we did this for you guys. And if you guys come up with a video idea, we'll probably do it as long as it doesn't involve crashing. Um, so, thank you guys. If you have any more questions, if you want to know something different if you want to see more if you want to see an in cabin of us you know driving around a crazy bumpy road or something if you want us to do go more in depth we'll go more in depth whatever you yeah. know you guys really want to see so we thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe share to your yeah. friends and uh, we'll see you in the next one yeah see you guys next week